you guys can see, we are doing a full color change on this one, including door jams. The door jams on this one are already finished. What is up guys, welcome back to another vlog. I know I've been MIA for quite a bit. Uh, I've been very, very busy here in shop. So we've got some trucks done, we've got some Jeeps as well. But as of right now, we are working on this Corvette. So this is a 1,000 uh, horsepower Corvette, supercharged, it's on NOS, everything. We're doing a full color change, including door gems on this one. The bumper is already wrapped, so the color that we're going to be wrapping this core, uh, this, core this car in is a stone gray made by Oracal. So this material is a little bit thicker than most, so it's a little bit harder to work with, but we're gonna go ahead and start off with the door. Um, I do have a couple new guys working with me. One of them is right here, his name's Jose. Say what up, dude. What's up? He's a little bit shy on camera. First time uh, seeing me talk to a camera, so it's a little bit weird for him. But I'm um, gonna go ahead and set you guys up. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the door. We'll move on to the hood. And then I also do have the uh, wide body FRS that I wrapped a couple months ago, or a few months ago, outside. I'll show you guys real quick. So this is the uh, wide body FRS that we wrapped quite a bit ago. Um, as you guys remember, this is the car that we did the worst vinyl wrap ever on. And it did actually very well. I think it got like 800, almost a million uh, views. So. We're going to be doing a full color change on this one and another livery. So we're gonna be wrapping this one in a different type of red made by Oracle. And then we are going to be doing a chrome livery on top. So it's gonna be a pretty big project. This car will be uh, displaying in SEMA as well. So it's pretty big for our company, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, just let it bake in the sun pretty much just so we can unwrap the other side once we're done with the Corvette. And then we can go ahead and uh, we'll see what we can get done from there. So before we do start the Corvette, I did want to show you guys an R6 that we wrapped about a week ago. So this is a very time consuming job. Um, there's about five days into this project. I had Jose take care of it and he did an excellent job taking care of it. So good job to you, bro. He has his back facing me. That's what's up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and start off this door. So let's go ahead and get this one started. My day today, fuck. I woke up in the morning. I had two hot dogs, spicy with a brisk. And then, yeah, it actually gives you a little bit of energy. I don't think he knows that the camera's playing, but you see how he's not shy when the camera's off? Oh, I'm putting, I'm putting this on the vlog, right? Yeah, you, <laughs> you, I'm putting this on the vlog. Anyways, guys, let's start this. So I finished up the uh, left side of the door, finished all the inside of it as well. Um, I heat shrink everything so it, nothing's gonna come back, nothing's gonna bubble up. Um, even if it did, I offer a warranty that covers that, so I'm not even worried about it. But Jose is finishing up the right side of the door. As you guys can see, we are doing a full color change on this one, including door jams. The door jams on this one are already finished. Um, we ended up doing this one yesterday and a little bit part of today. This one is fully done, as you guys can see, looks very, very good. The inside of the door as well, the one that Jose is working on right now, is all wrapped as well. So when you open up the door, it's complete, complete color change. So we are doing a big job on this one. Um, once he's finished up with the door, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the hood. The hood does have like a little um, clear vent thing above it. So, so you can see the um, supercharge. But this is gonna be a little bit, a little bit more time consuming because we do want to be careful when we trim because... <laughs> what? <laughs> So as you guys can see, there is this little plexiglass piece uh, in the middle of the hood. So it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to wrap it. A little bit more time consuming, but what we're going to do just to make sure that we don't scratch anything, we're going to mask everything around it. And then we will go ahead and uh, tuck everything and then we'll go ahead and trim it. So just to be sure that we uh, get rid of all of the gray. But gonna go ahead and set you guys up. I'm going to go ahead and prep the hood real fast, get this ready, and then we'll go ahead and knock this one out.
All right guys, so we got the hood finished up and the front bumper thrown back on. Looks very good. All the corners are A1, everything's sticking, so not having a problem with anything. Um, this material itself doesn't like to stick onto corners, so you do have to make sure everything is post heated. Um, just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there. So if you are working with Oracle, make sure everything is post heated, because if you don't, you're more than likely going to have a chance with this coming back than you would with like Avery or 3M. So just be aware if you're working with Oracle. As far as the Corvette today, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave it alone. I'll knock out the rear bumper tomorrow. I might, I might knock it out today, it just depends on how I feel. But as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and hop on the FRS. So the FRS is still wrapped, has a livery that we did on it. Uh, I think we did it maybe like seven or eight months ago, we had wrapped it. And then we also did the livery, but we're gonna go ahead and unwrap it. This car is actually going to be displaying in SEMA. So we are going to be doing a whole new livery with it along with a uh, whole new color change. Um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up, get this car unwrapped so we can actually start the wrap later on this week. All right guys, so I just moved the uh, Scion a little bit more into the sun so this way the vinyl can still stay warm while I unwrap it. I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up in tripod and let's start unwrapping this thing. All right guys, so I just finished unwrapping the driver's side of the FRS as you guys can see. The original color of the car is pearl white. I'm going to go ahead and hold off on the car until tomorrow. Reason why is because the sun is going down already. It's a lot easier for me to unwrap the car in the sun than it is uh, without the sun. Reason why is because I don't want to sit here all damn day with the blowtorch and just heat everything up or with a heat gun. It's a lot easier for me just to go ahead and uh, wait until tomorrow and then just get it done all within you know an hour and a half, two hours or something like that. The quarter panel and door and the fender only took me maybe about 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so. So it's not much longer of a process, but I'd rather just work smarter than harder. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in all the cars. As you guys can see, I do have a couple of cars out here that are going to be wrapped. I do have the Honda Civic that's right there. That one is going to be getting uh, bagged. And then we will be doing a wrap job on that one. The Q45 next to it is just about finished up. That one's wrapped in a pink fuchsia. I've actually had the Q45 for about two years. Um, it's actually, I believe it was the second video that I put on my YouTube channel of wrapping the hood and everybody was like complaining about the dent. But the vinyl actually held up. Um, ever since that I posted that video, the car actually sat outside in the sun. So it did get some sun damage. Um, the other side of right here on the pillars are actually peeling. So I did have to end up sanding this unfortunately, but it looks a lot better and it's coming back to life thankfully after two years. But we do have the wide body camera that's right here. This one is getting a full color change as well. So we will be wrapping this one in a cardinal red. So this one does have a big show coming up. This is the next project that's going to be getting wrapped. While this one gets wrapped, that one will be getting bagged and then I will be taking the Q45 home once I finish up some last uh, pieces on it. Dude, this thing is so wide. Guys, look at it through the mirror. That is crazy. Can't wait to finish this one up. Look, I can't even make it inside my own garage. Like, it hits. Oh my gosh. Ooh. All rubbing. Look, that's crazy. So the uh, fender does have some cracks. I'm actually going to go ahead and sand this down. Excuse the train, it's about to get loud. So as I was saying before the train interrupted me, um, all of this will be sanded and then it will be rebondoed and then we can go ahead and start the wrap on it. So there's a lot of work left to be done on this one and we have this car for about two weeks so a lot left to be done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the Q45 right now. This car is a freaking boat. I gotta get this home ASAP and then the Civic should fit perfectly right there. Unfortunately this car freaking died so I have to push it. And perfect, we have all five cars in shop. Now that we have all the cars in shop, we can go ahead and uh, close up the garage. We're about to get out of here, get some food. Your boy is starving. All right guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, get some food. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. As I said, I'm very sorry for being MIA for the past month or so. I've been super stacked up here with cars. Unfortunately, there was some um, 
things that had happened with some of my old employees and it kind of just set me behind because I had to let them go. But I have new people hired so we've been grinding out and I have, I'm, I have been more productive than I have ever been you know, since I've started my company. So I'm beyond blessed for the guys that I have working for me. You guys will see a lot more of them, so stay tuned. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.